got to ask you about Maria Doyle Kennedy joining the cast. Have you a chance to work with her? What's she like as your costume? I love Maria. Um, fellow Irish woman, it's always good to have them on, on set. Um, she's incredible. I mean, you know, I've been, I, as a kid, I, I've seen her and like the commitments was like huge when I was growing up. So, um, but she's incredible as Ancha Costa. She's, she's just got such a, a gravity towards or gravitas about her and and yet you know Maria's always got that cheeky little spirit you know there's something so so great and warm about her and and it's just been yeah it's been great working with her but tell me about working with Maria Doyle Kennedy who's playing your aunt Jocasta yes can you feel a little bits of column and Dougal in her performance it's huge working with uh, with Maria, she's uh, an incredible actress, and for Jamie to have like the last living um, relative of his, for him to meet her, and not only that, she is his mum's sister. She's she looks and sounds like his mum. So for him, this is a huge moment. And of course, yeah, his his uncles are there, and she has a lot of traits, a lot of qualities that are very similar to Colin Dougal, which of course doesn't always end well. But um, yeah, it's been it's been a really rewarding part for Jamie's story. Let's talk about season four and some of the people that you brought in. I mean, you got Maria Doyle Kennedy to play Joe Costo. Is I mean, what has it been like sort of watching the tapes come back? Oh, it's great. You know, it's, it's one of one of the great strengths of the show has always been its casting, and we just keep getting you know just scoring over and over again. So whenever you're seeing dailies for the first time, you're inevitably like pleasantly surprised. You're going, oh wow, this is really great. Look at the chemistry there, or she's really great in that role, or he's knocking that out of the park. So it's it's one of the really strong show points. Can you see sort of the influence of of Gary and Graham? Column and Dougal on her performance. Yeah, you get a little hint of that. You feel, you definitely feel like she's a Mackenzie. Can you talk about sort of trying to um, turn Scotland into America for season four and the challenges you're facing? Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, it's uh, the landscape and the terrain is actually obviously the big one. You know, there are sections of place that uh, sections of uh, Scotland that we have found that do look a bit like North Carolina. So it's, it's mostly about the trees and the kind of foliage and the ground cover that's there. And we found those places, you know, there's a place we found to put Fraser's Ridge that does read like North Carolina. So that was, a, that was the big one. But there's things that you can't do. You know, they don't really have rivers in the same way that they do in North Carolina. So we had to uh, go to Slovakia to shoot some river stuff and then do some visual effects work. And also Scotland doesn't have really those sort of, you know, the mountain, sort of Blue Ridge kind of mountain stuff going on. So we also shot those things in Slovakia. So then you're doing combinations of visual effect work and practical to sort of deliver on the American but the you know the major component is mostly the sets and the costumes is really what tells you you're in a different world and that this is not Scotland you know the buildings are made of wood instead of stone there's more linen and uh, homespun stuff in, in American in the costumes so it's really what you're watching closer to camera that really kind of sells you on that so tell me a little bit about how America is flavoring uh, the fourth season yeah it's been great I mean I've been so impressed by what John Gray Steele and, and Terry Dresbeck and everyone else and all our teams have really kind of made this world in Scotland and obviously disappointing that we couldn't film in North Carolina but um, it would have been very sad to leave our Scottish crew in Scotland um, but they have absolutely transformed the world and you step on it except for the weather because obviously it's not steamy and hot and all of those things like North Carolina would be but um, it's been fabulous. Tell me about the two dogs playing Rollo and just I mean do you just want to take him home? I do. Well, I have a dog, and my dog would be very upset if I brought another dog home. But um, actually, or two twins. No, well, it's, we're using one of the dogs, actually, oh, okay. not both of them. But um, he is, um, and his name's Dewey McDew, we call him, um, and Dewey for short. And um, he's just been amazing. I mean, the only thing is it's trying to get him to be a little more um, fierce on set because he's just the nicest dog. Um, so sometimes it's a little hard to have him act um, like a ferocious beast. But um, he's the most amazing, the most handsome dog of all time. We love him.